Today's best fashion accessory you can ever wear. Welcome to another wonderful segment of your favorite show, Fashion King. I remain your host in your favorite style is one in Today we'll be talking about a very important thing. We're talking about the cape kind of um, cape kind of piece. It's really from gown to top. It's mainly outfits that have this um, display kind of thing around it. We have, for example, this one I'm putting on. It's what I mean by cape kind of dress. That's what I'm talking about. Like a cape kind of dress. Now I'm going to give you five ways on how to wear a cape kind of outfit. Five ways you can wear it. It's not normal to wear it or rock it in this main way, but you can rock it several ways. I'm going to give you four ways on how to wear this cape kind of dress. The first way is the normal way, like I put it on, just simple, cast, cheeky, and okay. It's just normal. Then the second way you can wear it, if you want to go more glamorous, this look is very good for a dinner party or, or, or formal events, you know, or an event at the office or something. You can just pull it down with it and turn it to an option that kind of um, dress or a top, you can also wear the top. And the third way you can um, this is the third way you can also rock this dress or a top. This one is got a crystal, it's like a suit. Gown. Like I found the same gown I wore earlier, so you can also rock it. This is what kind of dress you can turn into a one shoulder dress or top. Note that this works not just mainly for dresses, you know, it also works for top, gown. You can sew this kind of pattern, this kind of style with Ankara or several other material. The main thing is you just know how to change the style so like when you one style when on several occasions you can change it, you can change it from the two to the off shoulders, to the one shoulder, to the sleeveless, anyhow you want it. So just rock it and and, and, and keep it and, and just rock it. I'm going to be giving you guys five items the lady must have in her handbag or cross. Number one item is she must have a thing. You know those days where you just go out and you won't really plan that maybe you use a button on your shirt and you just use a button and you feel like embarrassed. So the need for that thing is when you have a thing in your bag or this, you can just easily um, tap I mean, tap that um, particular area that is open. Secondly, the lady should have her powder or lip gloss. Because at times you might make up all right and leave your house and you might get drenched in the rain or the sun, the sweat and all that and you can just easily attach your makeup so you don't end up looking like a clown or something. And the third one is a lady must have at least one sanitary pad, a sanitary napkin. And this is in the because you know, at times your menstrual flu might just come anytime you might be outside so you can just easily, you know, we are just that. And the fourth thing, a lady must have a whole lot of your You know, your times you might not plan for an event and you just end up becoming so sweaty. And you know, when sweat of course in the ladies' life is not another thing, you can end up uh, being smelly. So you need for that deodorant or roll on this. You can easily attach that or just to spray something so you don't end up smelling because it's a very it's a big turn off for a lady to be smelly. So fifth must have a mint or a chewing gum that has mint or sweet or something because at times your odor in the mouth might not be in my little house as a brush with people due to stress and maybe it's a long time you drank water or you ate something and you're just like oh my god your mouth stinks so you can just easily take a mint or something to refresh your mouth that becomes of today's episode of your favorite show fashion thing i remember your own time time like our food, and our other people that are now every day in the fashion show and we want to work from the day to the day